Recently, I have been uploading my oil-free plant-based meals to TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, but I know not everybody watches those, so I made a little compilation video to share with you here on YouTube. For lunch today, I'm making a big starchy salad with baked sweet potato cubes. I wash and dice one large sweet potato with the skin on and bake it on a ceramic baking tray for 15 minutes on 450 degrees. I'm also adding in chopped up celery, carrot, and red bell pepper. Then I chopped up a few large handfuls of organic mixed lettuce, and I prefer chopping everything in my salads into really small pieces like this. It helps to mix the flavors of everything together better. Then I added in a few olives and some olive juice. Then the baked sweet potato cubes were ready, so I added those in as well. And instead of a dressing, I'm using this oil-free truffle-infused balsamic glaze and a generous handful of nutritional yeast, and mixing it all together really well. It was absolutely delicious and really filling. You could also add some edamame or black beans to this for added protein. For breakfast today, I made apple cinnamon raisin oatmeal for the first time in my rice cooker. I washed and peeled one apple and diced it into small pieces. Then I added one cup of old fashioned oats, the apple and one and a half cups of water to the rice cooker and turned it on. In the meantime, I went for a short walk to get some fresh air and sunlight with little Miss Emily. And then when the oatmeal was ready, I scooped it into a bowl and added in some raisins, cinnamon, and unsweetened soy milk. It was really, really good, and the apples were cooked, but not mushy. They still had a little bit of crunch to them, which I actually liked, and I'll definitely be making this again. For lunch today, I made bamboo rice with lots of veggies. Broccoli, zucchini, frozen shelled edamame, and corn. I'm going to be cooking these together on my stovetop steamer. This was my first time trying bamboo rice. It's higher in protein than other varieties of rice, but you cook it just the same. And when I saw it at the bulk section of the grocery store, I just thought I'd try it out. A meal like this is really easy to batch cook a bunch of and put into glass meal prep containers to have ready to warm up and enjoy the next day. To season it, all I used was soy sauce. You could add sriracha or some other hot sauce, lemon juice, or really any other seasonings. Hi guys, this is a simple and filling plant-based meal that I had for lunch today. I rinsed and warmed up half a can of black beans, cooked a cup of sticky rice in my new rice cooker, diced up some onion and aroma tomato, and added in half of an avocado. I seasoned it with a splash of lemon juice, some chili powder, and some sea salt. Check the link in my bio for my brand new low calorie density weight loss handbook with sample meal plans, recipes, and all of my best tips and strategies. For today's oil-free plant-based lunch, I'm making a starchy salad with bell pepper, onion, rice, lentils, and capers. Something I do to save time is batch cook my starches. So I have leftover rice and lentils that I'm just going to warm up. I'm adding in a few large handfuls of organic dark leafy greens, chopped up into small pieces, half of a thinly sliced red bell pepper, half of a small onion, my rice and lentils, and something I get asked a lot is how much of each item I eat. I really don't measure out my food, I just put a large enough portion that I think will fill me. So then I added in the capers, which I love and haven't had in a while, some of the juice from the jar as well, and then I added in some lemon juice and a drizzle of oil-free truffle-infused balsamic glaze, which I'm really into. I just tried it for the first time the other day and I'm loving it. And then I just mixed everything together really well so that I got all the, the flavors in each forkful. For lunch today, I made my own version of a poke bowl. I've got some Thai jasmine rice, some chopped up cucumbers, fresh mango, edamame, and tofu that I sauteed in a frying pan with a splash of soy sauce. And that's it. I just put it pretty like this on the plate for the video. And then in reality, I mix everything up together just to get all of the flavors mixed in 
and it might look a little bit messier, but it tastes a lot better that way. Today's oil-free plant-based lunch is super simple, only three ingredients, black beans, broccoli, and sweet potato. I'm going to use the steamer to cook the broccoli and sweet potato and warm up the beans in the microwave. Something like this is perfect for anyone who doesn't want to follow a recipe and just wants to be able to make something filling quickly without much effort. You literally couldn't mess this up if you tried. For seasoning, I use lemon juice, sriracha, and this salt that my friend Lauren gave me, which is amazing. And that's it. So easy, so filling, something I could eat on repeat for days without getting bored of it. For lunch today, I made a big starchy salad with yellow potatoes, corn, tomatoes, avocado, and capers. First, I cut and steamed the potatoes and corn, and then I sliced two ripe Roma tomatoes, chopped up the dark leafy greens into very small pieces. I always do this when I make salads. I just prefer eating small pieces rather than chewing on big leaves of lettuce. Next, I added in two thirds of an avocado and put the other ingredients into my salad bowl. Then I drizzled on some juice from the capers jar and added some capers in. Then I drizzled some truffle infused balsamic glaze and that's it. It was really good and I would definitely make this one again. I just find that potatoes are the most satiating food. Perfect to add if you find that salads don't usually fill you up. Click the link in my Instagram bio to get a copy of my low calorie density weight loss handbook. Have a great day. For lunch today, I made a really filling and flavorful plant-based meal with sticky rice, tofu, and lots of veggies. In my steamer basket, I added in diced onion, carrot, zucchini, and kale, and a cup of frozen corn. Next, I diced up a third of a package of super firm tofu, my favorite, and sauteed it on medium with a generous splash of soy sauce. At the same time, I have one cup of sticky rice cooking in my rice cooker. For seasoning, I used soy sauce, lemon juice, garlic powder, and chili powder. I love this meal because it has a filling wet starch, the rice, lots of veggies for nutrients, and tofu for protein. If you don't have time to cook something like this every day for lunch, you can do it once in the evening and triple the amount so that you have lunches for the next few days. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.